I be chart. This episode, I am going to teach you guys how to make your very own birdhouse doors. But before you do, you actually have to plant your birdhouse boards and then wait for them to dry for five to six months. This is what it will look like after five to six months of drying, and there will be some marks on it, but that is okay because it is natural. And yeah. Now for this, you are going to need an adult supervision or an adult to help you hold this steady while you do drill. I actually have this practice cord that I use, which was my least favorite, but here's a tip. Do not use any drill thing that looks like this or else that will happen. So you really don't want to or else it will take the entire side off and you will not really use it for our house. I drew a circle where I am going to drill a round. A around. Uh, Alright, so make sure to press into the board before you start to drill. And drill around in a circle where you drew the circle. Alright, now you're going to need to draw, drill a hole through the stem, like that, and three holes in the bottom for drainage. So if your bird house doesn't flood, because birds won't be very happy about that. Okay, so now that you have your hole drilled out, you can reach in with your finger and pull out this white stuff that is on the inside, and you can look for some seeds that may or may not be in there. In one of mine, there were no seeds in there. And if you don't want to do that, you can actually just take your file and reach in there and kind of move it around and then knock it out. Yeah, my like that. Then take your file and go around the edges of your birdhouse board until it is as smooth as you want. Your seed should look something like this. Okay, now that you have your secret mixture, you, which is actually just one part bleach and nine parts water, you are going to take your birdhouse board and dip it in there and roll it around. Make sure to wear rubber gloves while you do this so that the uh, bleach doesn't burn your hands. And so what you're going to do is you are going to kind of swish it. dip it in there and kind of like swish it around and then kind of, and then see, take your hole and kind of scoop it up and then sit it on top. Some of it may pour out of the hole depending on how low you put the hole. So you know you're draining your tool work and then pour the rest out of the top. Then take a sponge, kind of dip the edge in the water, and gently scrub all over your board to get any leftover bacteria off of it. Make sure it is a nice clean board for your burning. Okay, so now that you have your gourd all dunked in the bleach and stuff, set it in a nice sunny spot to dry. Like, oops, sorry, like that. And if you need to uh, take your sponge, set it down, and set it on top of your sponge so it will stay up. Or not, stay. I'm gonna lean against that one. Nope. I'm just gonna lay it down on its back and let it dry. Okay, so now I have my birdhouse gourd all dried out from the bleach mixture, and now I'm going to start painting. 
and so I will be back when I am done painting. birdhouse board. I am really happy with it. And um, I added the ribbon through the top holes and I hope a little bird will come and nest in it. Um, please like and subscribe and leave a comment for what on what I should do next time. I am Beach Girl. See, I'll see you all later. Bye!